uh, Scott Moore, president of How You Doing, <laughs> here on Tim and Sid. Uh, and he's up there in Rogers. Hi, Scott. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Not uh, bad. So you're going to uh, you're gonna have to clear out some space in that huge office of yours. You've got some people joining you. Oh, I know. Who's the biggest diva coming in? <laughs> They're commentators. They're all divas. <laughs> <laughs> They're on-air people. <laughs> Which one isn't a diva? Maybe Cassie Campbell. She's the only one's not a diva. She is a delight. Yes, she Lovely. is a delight. So exciting day, Scott. I mean, how long? Like, did did you want to do this sooner? Like, what's what? what I mean, I've never run anything close to this size in my life. Obviously, uh, how did this? Quite evident. How does this? Quite evident. Mm -hmm. So how does it come together? How long does it take? It takes a long time. Uh, we've got almost forty commentators on all of our different hockey packages. We're, we're producing over five hundred hockey games this year. So you got to have play-by-play -play commentators. You got to have uh, analysts. You've got to have studio guys and gals. And we've been talking to people since really. My phone started ringing the day we announced last November that we were doing uh, all the NHL national games. And you can imagine because you guys have done it with me on occasion, negotiating your contracts. You know, you, all, you guys all want the world. And we have to convince you just to take a small slice of the world. And then we have a salary cap. I'm watching you, by the way, with your reactions. Right. I right. can see it. I'm just, right. <laughs> for the record, all I asked for was some tiramisu. Right. <laughs> Who so likes for some extra tiramisu and I'm good. Who okay. likes Sid asked for red M&Ms and the red M&Ms only? It's well, that's good because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Kelly Rudy wants the green M&Ms. So. Right. so there you go. We're already working together, Scott. Yes. Already working together. Already <laughs> working together. Um, so it's, a, it's a pretty star-studded, all-star lineup. I've told people both on both sides of the camera, the, the great thing about the team is it's an all-star team. The tough part about it is it's an all-star team, which means not everybody gets to play the power play. Not everybody gets to appear every Saturday night. Uh, not everybody gets to appear on every uh, every game. So you know it'll be it'll be interesting to see how things get shared. Where were we? Oh, I was I, asking Scott uh, who the biggest diva was in negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest diva in negotiation. That's, uh, I, I gotta say, Jim Houston. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought you were gonna tell me like that. It. I thought you were gonna tell me that's a steakhouse story. I can't tell you that one right. now. <laughs> it's, it's the third or fourth time I've negotiated a deal with Huey. Um, no, you know what? Uh, I had, uh, everybody's been terrific because they all, all wanted to be part of this. And, you know, there's a lot of games, a lot of work. I said to pretty much everybody, and we can uh, we can work you 24 hours a day, seven days a week with the number of games we have. The, the biggest challenge will be, you know, making sure that we don't kill everybody. You've been involved in some in some pretty big things in in this country uh, on television. Is this by far the biggest that you've been involved with? Uh, it's like every project I do. I always say it's the biggest to date. You know, uh -huh. um, I've been involved with 11 Olympic Games. I've been involved in launching three different networks, uh, but this is uh, this is pretty gigantic. And people, more so than Olympics, more so than launching a new network, uh, people have preconceived notions of what they think hockey should be on television. Um, they have preconceived notions of who they like and who they don't like. Yeah. It's the beauty of Twitter is they're able to tell you what they don't like more than what they like. <laughs> I haven't noticed yeah. that, Scott. I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's a horrible place, Twitter. Um, and, you know, so there's a lot of opinions about it. And what we were able to do with this was to bring in a lot of people who are recognizable, who've got a, a long and good pedigree, and bring in some uh, some newer faces that folks may not be as familiar with. Leah Hextall, who's been working in uh, Boston for a while, is going to be our Hockey Central host, 11 o'clock, Monday to Friday. That's exciting, a new face. Uh, I'm also excited about bringing together the uh, the Simpson uh, siblings, Christine and, uh, and Craig Simpson. First time they've worked together on network uh, both very talented. Are folks. they going to do uh, Scott? They're going to do a, a, a cop show called Simpson and Simpson. Simpson, and Simpson. <laughs> sure? Have you ever seen the two of them in the same room together? <laughs> no. no, I believe they're actually the same person. Because I'm <laughs> no. not sure. There's no way. Who's prettier. There's no way. Uh, <laughs> you don't know who's prettier. <laughs> I know who's prettier. <laughs>
I know who's prettier. <laughs> he does have. Let me. Let me. As a bald man, yeah. Craig Simpson has a head of hair on him it's that you can set your watch to. Absolutely. Oh one my of the best goodness! Heads of hair in broadcasting, and there's a lot of By good far. hair in broadcasting. Like if Craig was covering Superstorm Sandy, <laughs> yeah, it'd be fine. Wouldn't have moved. Yeah, it would not move. Would no. not have moved. <laughs> would not have moved. <laughs> Um, exactly. S- Scott Moore, president of Sportsnet and uh, all things NHL here on, on Rogers. Scott, I know when, when you guys got the contract with the National Hockey League, there was that moment of, oh, my God, we got it. And then it was shortly followed by, oh, my God, we got it. Exactly. Um, what, what part of this over the last three months were you not prepared for? Um, I think just the number of game broadcasts that we're doing. Uh, and you know, we've got seven networks uh, at Sportsnet, uh, as well as working with CBC and City. But you know, when, especially in October and April, when you've got football, baseball playoffs, and all the hockey games, you know, Saturday night, the first Saturday night of, uh, of our contract on October 11th, we're doing six game broadcasts that night. We're producing six different games. So you need six play-by-play crews, six production crews, um, and we're creating a, a whole new team that will be in studio. So the logistics of that are really quite stunning. And this it's is all like before hometown hockey. Right. Yeah. It's like you're doing uh, an Olympic Games every week. Um, and that's, that's before we go into playoffs next year where we're producing every single playoff game. Uh, and hosting it all out of uh, one or two different studios. So uh, it's uh, it's a beast, but we've got a, a, an outstanding team of production folks that we've cobbled together from CBC, from Sportsnet, from other places that have come to join us. And I'm uh, I'm convinced we've got the best team both in front and behind the camera that's ever been assembled for hockey. And we went through some of the new cameras that we're using today, some of the graphics, I'm uh, I'm really excited on October 8th, opening night, Toronto, Montreal, or Montreal to Toronto. Uh, people are going to see a different style of hockey broadcast that will look familiar. It'll sound familiar. A lot of uh, great things that they're used to, but a lot of new technology that they've never seen. The one thing I can say about uh, Sid and I's show is that we are, we're fans. Like, we mm-hmm. watch just as much as any fan out there, and, and we're both excited to see this. The, the last question that I have for you is, I know that you guys went through uh, a lot of listening, and you mentioned Twitter. What's the biggest piece of solicited or unsolicited advice that you can share with us that you got throughout this process that you thought, um, either that's that's something we need to take into consideration, or that's a pretty good idea. Uh, the uh, the biggest advice I've got is don't screw it up. You know, they, there's a, a familiarity of for Saturday nights. Uh, there's a familiarity of of how people want to watch hockey. Um, so it's keeping the the uh, the comfort of what you know while introducing new things because the. The biggest challenge in life, forget broadcasting, is change. People don't necessarily embrace change quickly, and there's a lot of change with this. And I, on top of not screwing it up, because we've got seven different networks, we the biggest uh, challenge is making sure people know where the games are, where they can find the games, because that could be the biggest frustration if you're a uh, – if you're a Winnipeg Jets fan and you want to watch the Winnipeg Jets on Saturday night, you'd better be sure you know where you can watch the Winnipeg Jets on Saturday night. Yeah. So there'll be a lot of time and effort around telling people where the games are. Uh, they should always be checking the Sportsnet website to find out where the games are being broadcast, on which channels, to make sure. Is the great thing is you won't miss a game now. You'll be able on Saturday night to watch every single game nationally. There's so many more games on uh, on television that you want to make sure you know where those games are. So to be clear, um, you can go to sportsnet.ca and Sid and I aren't fired yet. <laughs> Although I'm going to find out who did the office phone down here at the new hockey offices because uh, that <laughs> something went wrong, terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, we just said you were on a bell phone. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> nice chuckle. <laughs> uh, Scott Moore, uh, president of Sportsnet Angel Properties and Life. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. Always a pleasure, gentlemen.